8.13 p.m. Pstsum, Marsden Moises Yarens Emily Rausord has told ESPN he believes Barcelona are merely posturing after the club revealed it would take legal action against the former vice president on Monday, Hunter, Bartomeu the big reason for Barker's success. And Crisis stream new episodes of ESPN FC Monday to Friday on ESPN Plus stream every episode of 30 for 30. Soccer stories on ESPN Plus The comments come as the pressure continues to mount on President Giuseppe Maria Bartomeu at the crisis hit club. Rausord was one of six members of the board of directors to resign last week due to disagreements with Bartomeu over how the club is run. Here are the top 100 players and managers in men's soccer. As rated by our experts, as well as in fighting among the board, fans have called for Bartomeu's resignation in recent home matches, while players have publicly criticized the club's hierarchy, too. Barco announced they are pursuing criminal action against Rausord in defense of the honor of the club and its employees after the former vice president alleged a high-ranking executive had been embezzling money out of the club. Rausord stands by his statements and says there is proof of corruption behind the scenes at Camp Nou. In a statement released on Tuesday, he said Barker's lawsuit could itself constitute a crime of false accusation and suggested its real purpose is to stain his personal honor. I would say that posturing is the right word, Rausor told ESPN when asked if he felt the lawsuit launched by Barker had been frivolous and done to protect the club's image more than anything else. Dan Thomas is joined by Craig Burley, Shaka Hislop and a host of other guests every day as football plots a path through the coronavirus crisis. Stream on ESPN Plus, US, only. They say there has been no corruption, which is what I disagree with. For me, the fact they have divided contracts and bills, and, in addition, one of them is with a company based in a fiscal paradise, to avoid the club's internal controls speaks of corruption. The internal controls are there to guarantee that the contracts are adjusted to the market price and that just services are contracted. It's not necessary to wait for the final results of an external audit. It's obvious that, in this case, they have evidently acted in bad faith. There have been problems bubbling under the surface for a while at Camp Nou, but things have grown more heated since the revelation in February that Barker paid a third-party company to smear players, potential presidents and club legends online. The scandal has become known in the local media as Barkergate.Bartamu denied any knowledge of the Facebook accounts in question and rescinded the club's contract with the company, i3 Ventures who he said had been contracted to monitor social media. Two related Rausord alleges that the value of the contract with i3 was inflated and was broke down to avoid being picked up internally. In an interview last week, he claimed that an executive, although not someone on the board of directors, had been making money on the deal. Barker have ordered an external audit into the relationship with i3 from PricewaterhouseCoopers, the audit has been held up due to the coronavirus pandemic. Rausord, who was set to run as Bartomeu's heir in next year's presidential elections, Bartomeu can't run again having served two terms, has been criticized for not speaking out sooner but he insists he raised his grievances while he was still part of the board. It annoyed me that people including the club's spokesman, asked why I didn't complain when I was in the inside, Rausord added, I did, so that question is shameless. When I was still a member of the board, I was insisting that we clean this up and I believe that is the reason why I now find myself on the outside, because I complained. If I would have looked the other way and not given it importance and demanded responsibility be taken, I would possibly still be on the board. As well as the fallout from Barkergate, Rausord also clashed with fellow board members during discussions over reducing the players' wages due to the financial repercussions of the COVID-19 pandemic. I have zero criticism towards the players, he said. They have done what was asked of them and more, with the additional contribution to make up the salaries of the rest of the club's employees. But what was asked of them? 
from my point of view, is insufficient to cover the deficit in revenue that we're going to have. It's lamentable to see that other clubs, like Real Madrid, have obtained a bigger reduction from their players, 10 to 20 percent of their annual salary, than us. We are talking about a 70 percent wage reduction to their monthly salary, which is around 5 or 6 percent of their annual salary. I considered the proposal made by the club at the time lacking in ambition given the economic problems that the club has to face. But that's an internal disagreement. The issue with Barkergate is, from my point of view, a clear case of corruption. Despite everything that has happened, Rausord says he is still motivated at the thought of one day becoming the president of Barker and wouldn't rule out putting a team together to run in the 2021 elections. Let's block ads. Why?